and the app developers, James Madden and Zach McGee. Welcome, mm -hmm. everyone. Thank you. So, all right, so hold on. Before we start, I just want to yes, make sure I'm doing actually, this right. so share it. You were going, yeah. So first of all, share let's talk page. about the fact that this is Kelly Buttrick's first Facebook Live. And I'm yes. super excited because I get to be the one helping you through this. Thank and you for holding my virtual hands. Of course, and doing something that comes naturally to me and teaching you really, truly brings joy to my heart. So um, Mine too, because I would really <laughs> stink at doing this by myself. So I'm supposed <laughs> to share it to my page. Correct. So now you just click on share from what you see. And I'm okay. going to share it into the group. We have a voiceover business tool group. Okay. Uh, uh, so go ahead and write what you want to write. And then you just hit share. Okay. I'm working on it. My thumbs <laughs> are slow and fat. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. And you I know, think I thing, did it. You did do it. If you, if you, if you wrote it, you, you did it. Um, I did it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, and you're, you actually wow. did it faster than I did because my, my phone isn't working well you know what <laughs> so there you go okay technology technology is awesome when it works 100 percent. yeah so what i love about facebook live is that facebook live really is designed to to connect with people and connect with the people that follow us that like us and i want and of course with voiceover business tools oh, let me start off by saying i'm sophia cruz uh, founder of voiceover business tools and kelly buttrick is a amazing colleague of mine i'm really thrilled to have her here today because she just created an app and when i saw it and i of course i grabbed it i downloaded it on my phone i thought what what a great tool um because i'm all about helping voice actors work smarter not harder and mm -hmm. have tools at their disposal that will help them with quoting projects and things like that. So Kelly, you are an extraordinary voiceover actor. You're also an amazing marketing specialist. Um, and we can I'm own it. I'm a marketing geek. Let's just own okay. what it is. I okay, marketing totally geek, geek specialist. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, she decided not to stop there, folks. She decided now to uh, enter the uh, realm of developing an app, which I think is so freaking amazing. So a lot of us in the voiceover business respect you because you are such um, a go-getter and you do go off the train and you go find the path that leads you to whatever it is that you're looking for. And of course, we know you for the KB4 Jeep campaign, a lot of people, mm -hmm. um, and everything that you did to go off that marketing camp, uh, trail into forging new paths for yourself, which kudos to you on that. Um, but today you. we are here to talk about your new app. So tell me the name of your app. And then I of course have a lot of questions that I like to ask. Um, but why don't you start us off with what prompted this idea? I remember actually when you posted on Facebook looking for suggestions on how to go about developing an app. So I'm going to let you take it from there. Okay. So I had actually, when I posted that about developing an app, it wasn't this, it was another idea I had. And uh, I talked to some great people, uh, Joe and Brad, um, and we talked about it. It was kind of decided that it would be better as an online thing. So I was looking then for somebody to help me with data entry on that particular online tool. And I called James Madden, who happens to be one of my very best friend's son. Yeah. And uh, James offered to help me with that. And then I started getting to thinking, I, I drink too much coffee, I guess. And I said, you know, James, do you think about developing an app? Because I have this idea for an app. And James got a lot more excited about that than he did about <laughs> doing data entry for me. And he said, you know, I'm going to talk to Zach, wave Zach. And so James has this great vision and he's very artistic in addition to being a total gamer guy. And Zach is just this tech wizard. And between the two of them, they met with me and, and we decided to create this app. And I was pulling it up as we were talking. Yes. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a share screen and people are gonna get yes. to see it and how how it all works. I'm so excited about it and um, just I'm excited to talk about it. I'm excited we're finally live and uh, can't wait to share with your audience how hopefully this will be able to help them. And it's free. So it's not like we didn't make this to make money. We I just paid them to do it and put it out there as a gift. Well, that is, thank you. We receive it with all the love and gratitude we can offer back to you. Seriously, um, it is a gift. And so thank you. Um, and I love offering free, re free resources, but also yep. obviously we got to pay for other resources. So it's a balance. It's a balance of both. Um, so this resource happens to be free. So thank you. Um, I love the fact that you found 
here's, here's what I'm, I'm going to implement a couple of things here as I listen to you, because I think that we can learn a lot from you, not just in the fact that you developed this app, but some of the nuances that you just said was um, you start, you took the first action. And as a result of taking that first action, that led you onto a different path that you originally mm -hmm. set out to do. And I think that's really important because a lot of us hold ourselves back thinking that's not going to work. In fact, yesterday I was talking to David H. Lawrence, the 17th about something. And he's like, you're your shadow, your fortune telling right now. Cause I was saying, well, I don't <laughs> think I'm going to, you know, I don't really think that's really for me. And he's like, how do you know? And he's right. He, it's like, I love that someone challenged me. And, and I love the fact that you took that first step and that you went into this path, not, not really knowing, not having any set expectations. You just went. And that's a valuable lesson. Like if you learn nothing else from today, just taking that as your lesson that take the first step and let's see what happens. And then as you take that first step, you're going to find the right people, the right connections. It's going to forge into what it's meant to forge. And as right. long as you're not holding on to this, I have to have this end result, you're going to be fine. And look at what an amazing thing that you just did. All right. So let's talk about the app. Um, uh, I'd love to have James and Zach chime in here. Uh, James and Zach, when Kelly came to you, you're like, did you chime in right away with her vision? How did you cooperate with bringing this to life? Well, at first she, she asked me first and then I was like, okay, can I do this in the first place? And right off the bat, I wanted to, I didn't know if I could, but I wanted to, <laughs> I have no personal experience in app development or any development of any sorts. But my friend, Zach, I knew he's like, he uh, codes video games. So I knew he had some sort of background in it. And so I, I called Zach probably 10 minutes after <laughs> Kelly left. I was like, Zach, we got to do this. And <laughs> from there it's just we talked about it we met with, with with kelly for the vision as in like design wise vision we figured that out i think that was a i think we nailed on a spot design wise and then as far as the app goes the functionality was it was pretty straightforward so awesome all right yeah. so kelly in your oh i'm sorry zach i'm gonna yeah. let you speak no 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 please <laughs> yeah, Chime no, in. It was, it so you get this because... call and you're like huh what sure let's do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, well, we we talked about making an app before, you know, it wasn't, it, it, but it always been kind of like just this thing that we'd wanted to do and never really had the, uh, I guess, the motivation to go out and do it. And uh, so and then Kelly coming to us and saying, you know, hey, there's this thing that you know, I want you guys to do. And um, it was, it was the perfect starting, you know, point that we needed. Um, and uh, you know, it was it was a good phone call that eventually led to good meetings and <laughs> all the rest. Yeah, thank well, God for Jittery Joe's in Watkinsville, Georgia, yeah, because that's exactly. that's where we met <laughs> and we talk. One of the things that I love about young people um, is that you guys don't have a lot of things that hold you back. You haven't been trained as much to think through, like, maybe I shouldn't do that. Is that a good idea? You know, all these things that as adults, unfortunately, inhibit us. So I love that you're like, sure, we're going to develop an app anyway. Let's start here. Um, and of course, money is a great motivation um, for some of us. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Okay, so you had these meetings, you did all this stuff. And then Kelly, obviously, Kelly, I mean, you know her now, but like those of us who see her from the outside, we're like, okay, she's ultra organized. She's got an assistant. She's got an intern. She's got a team of people like Kelly can make anything execute and, and, you know, make it happen. So Kelly, with you and your brilliance of organization, all that you bring to the table, you, she even has her own, I mean, you even have your own, you created your own planner for crying out loud, you know? Um, <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so she creates her own planner. She creates her own app. Like what, you know, it's basically, what boils, what this comes down to, if you don't have a solution, you're like, I'll just create it. I'll just make it myself. Right. Well, and that kind of brings us to why I created the app in the first place, because I'm sure everybody listening, whenever we've talked to a marketing expert, one of the first things they ask is what problems do you solve? And I'll be honest that the cynic in me is going, I'm a voiceover talent we really don't solve problems, you know, and, and I certainly don't have the ego to go, well, I solve the problem when people need to have a excellent skilled voiceover talent to deliver their copy. I solve that problem. Well, give me a break. There's a billion of us who do that. So that's not solving a problem. So then it comes to, okay, so what are your unique selling points? What do you do that's unique? Well, again, 
Okay. There's a bazillion people who sound like me. There's a bazillion people who do what we do, who have this gear just as good. So, um, I mean, every time somebody would ask me that, I'm like, this is ridiculous. I don't solve anything. I don't answer it. You know, really? I, I, mm. Mm. Um, and not to downplay what we do because obviously I was say Kelly, um, okay. Yeah. Not to downplay what we do, but there's a million of us who do it and do it well. And so I started to step back and go, okay, so if I'm not solving a problem by being a voiceover talent, um, what problems do my clients face? What, it, what, is their, what, is, what are their challenges? Because maybe there's another way I could solve something else that doesn't have to do with voiceover. So I just started paying attention, being in the moment, being present in the moment, and found that anywhere from 75 to 85% of my commercial voiceover sessions, and I'm sure any of you out there watching have the same experience, where you read the copy, and the client goes, oh, that sounds great. And then the engineer goes, uh, that was 36. And they're like, oh, okay, so I know. can you make it sound like that, but cut six seconds? That's massive. So then yeah. you try it, and, then, and they're like, oh, okay, that's kind of as good. And then the engineer goes, that was 34. And then they have to call their client, then they have to cut, then it's, well, no, that went through legal, so we can't say that. Well, what if we change the A to a the? And what if we make this a gerund? And and I mean, we were wasting so much time and money and they're paying for studio time. They're paying for our time as talent. Then they cut everything up and you record it. And then they end up having to book another session with you because the client doesn't like what they cut or it sounds too rushed. Right. So I'm thinking, okay, well, there are script timers out there online, but I could not find one on the app store. And I thought everybody has their phones with them in session um, most of the people we, yeah. And most of the people that we work with, most of our clients are of a younger generation that they do everything on their phones. You know, they right. write on their phones, they do everything on their phones. So if they could write their script and be able to pop it in there, no problem, either the word count or the actual script and get an idea of how long it's going to take before we ever step into session, then we've solved a problem. And we've solved a problem of wasted time and wasted money and lots of frustration on their part. You know, as voice talent, we don't care because we're getting paid whether we're talking or not. So that's where this motivation came from was to create something that would solve a problem for my clients. But wow. I'm not an app developer. I just voice. So that's why I called F Square Developers. That's awesome. Wow. My head is like, this is amazing. Um, I just had a, a directed session yesterday um, for some commercials that I'm doing and we had that same. So mm -hmm. I do English and Spanish. So I did the English spots. No problem. That was time. That was great. But then when we get to the Spanish stuff, it's always going to be a little bit longer because wow. it's Spanish. And so we had to do some editing and cutting and they knew ahead of time. <laughs> I wish in that moment I would have I would have known this part of the app. I would have been like, so my friend created this app. Um, so that would be so cool. But that is exactly what happens in sessions is that, um, especially with the kind of work that I do with the English and Spanish, when you're doing both English imagine. and Spanish, you have to. And then, of course, then, then what ended up happening is I... Um, ended up reading from the script that was translated from English to Spanish. So the English script had more words than the Spanish ones. And then I, I, I when I was going back and forth, because we went back and forth, I realized I was on the Spanish translated script, but looking at the English column. Oh my and gosh. So I read the tagline without one word and they came back to me and they're like, um, we didn't catch that we missed that one word because we took it out for the Spanish because the Spanish takes longer. And I was like, I was so mortified because that's, that's my fault. You know, that, that's totally my fault. I should have been able to realize. But what I, an easy mistake to make. It is an easy mistake when you're going from one language to the next, but this is really cool that now I can, you know, put that in the app and it's a problem solved. That's really hopefully. Cool. Well, hopefully. Yeah, of course. I yeah. Mean, I don't know about Spanish. I don't know if we, if we try, uh, did we test it on Spanish? I probably not, but uh, we probably should. Oh, what do you mean? Like if I put a Spanish word document in there or like cut and paste, it won't understand the Spanish words. No, it'll, okay. it'll count the words. Yeah. It'll, it'll yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, otherwise <clears throat> that will be released 2.0. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, James and Zach, when Kelly explained the premise of her project in your mind, did you give her ideas that she hadn't thought about or what was the process of anything that helped make this truly a reality, uh, the vision for her? 
Uh, not not necessarily on the on the coding side, but definitely on on James's side uh, when it came to design. I mean, um, you know, he's definitely got a, a knack for for the way things should be laid out on a screen. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, he came there with ideas and, you know, how, you know, how he wanted to lay out, how he thought it would be like a good flow for it and, and all that. And I, I think that um, really kind of helped get things in motion, you know, kind of take it from just an idea to something that we could actually all see, um, see being on our phones and yeah. using and stuff like that. I mean, definitely des design wise. Um, I know, I mean, I had to make the logo and I had to look some like decent. And that, that logo took a very long time just because like it has to make sense and it has to work with what the app is all about. Um, so I think, I think that kind of, that realm was a lot of like planning, actually creating it, showing it and getting like a response and then editing it from there. But uh, yeah. Well, we're gonna showcase the app right now. In fact, Yay. Zach is going to do that for us. So Zach, please uh, share your mobile screen. And, and I also want it known that I gave the guys free reign. I gave them an idea. I said I wanted it to be in my logo colors, but that they pretty much had free reign as to how it was going to look. And the first time I met with them to go over it, um, I even told my husband, who by the way is back there, um, I Hi, even Brian. told my husband, <laughs> I said, you know, I'm really worried because I don't want to, I don't want to criticize the boys because, and I'm sorry, young men, um, because obviously I, I care about them. And um, when they showed it to me, I was so blown away. I'm like, they just nailed it. They nailed it right out of the gate. They nailed it. And I love the design. And it is absolutely what James said. It reflects what the app does, but it also reflects my brand. And it's just killer. Yes. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I can't tell, but thank you. <laughs> All right. So Zach, you're going to, I mean, some people really, I mean, we want to make sure everybody have, has access to this. So Zach is in the app store and he's going to tell you exactly how to walk you through, find it, download it. Then we're going to open it up and we're going to tour. So go ahead, Zach. Take All right. Up. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just, you know, search up, time your script. You'll see it right there. Um, it is, it is the first one. It is the one and only I've already downloaded it, but if you haven't, you'll see the, the download the, button. Yeah, the download button where open is. Um, so let's go into it. So as you see, we got time your script. Um, this is the, the opening screen, um, Kelly's logo at the bottom. When you open it up, you have your, your two choices. You can input a, a word count. So if you have the word count of your script or um, the actual script itself, you can paste it in there. So let's, let's start with the word count and see. Um, so let's see, anybody got a word count they want to put in? Uh, let's do 200. Oh, there we go. I was going to go 200. So 222. Go ahead and throw it in. Yep. 22. All right. Calculate. So it gives you it at three different paces, at, at a, a slow pace, a normal pace, or a fast pace, depending on, you know, what, what the uh, client is shooting for. Um, and then uh, same thing on the, the script side. So you can, um, I don't have a script pasted or copied right now, but if you had one, you could copy and paste it. So, um, We'll just put in um, testing time your script app um, calculator. And it's only a few words, but it will um, tell you the, uh, the time. So that would take two seconds to read. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had a longer, longer script, right? One that was multiple paragraphs and stuff like that, it would do it about the same amount of time and tell you what it would be as the pace, normal pace and fast pace, roughly. Um, uh, and then, of course, it, it has links that if you want an audition, so if this is for you know, someone looking for VO or that, it, it will take you to, to Kelly's website if you want to contact her and give her feedback. Um, and that's the genius behind her branding and marketing. I mean, she, you know, she might say, she might say she doesn't know how to solve clients' problems, but I don't believe that for <laughs> one freaking second. Um, so when she was talking about that, like, yeah, okay. Um, so that that's a brilliant way to add her marketing and her branding. And of course, if the more you give this to studios and stuff like that, they can just like, oh, we yep. can have Kelly audition for us right here. Um, <laughs> you know, like how cool. And it takes you to. It takes you to a place on my website where I worked with um, my digital marketing. 
Um, Zach, why don't you click on it? Uh, want an audition? Because I think uh, for audition, I, click below. I see, I see in the comments. And it Instagram. takes you. So we designed this page to go with the app um, so that they can either cut and paste their app or reach out somehow. Do you mind scrolling it up a little bit there for me, Zach? Just so people can see. Where do you want it? Okay, and just so you know, it's iOS and Android. I have an Android phone and it's on my Android phone. So it's for both, which I think is really important. Kelly said she was having internet issues today. So um, she's cutting in and out, but I do wanna make sure that people know that this is for both Android and iOS. Yeah. Um, so that's really important. Um, and okay, so what did Kelly say she wanted us to scroll up? Oh, cause uh, she, she worked. Yeah, probably the contact. Yeah. Contact. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There yeah. we go. You're back. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry about that. Okay. By the way, for any of you who haven't met him, there's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying the fruit of all the labor of the Buttrick family. Yeah. Well, it's because I have somebody downstairs working on my office and booth computer. So we're hanging out in the, uh, in the Buttrick hangout room. That's awesome. Okay. So Kelly, you were telling us that uh, I had them click and want an audition and um, this is where they it takes you to their website, to your website. Sorry. Right. And so this page was designed by my digital marketing team in Ohio to work with the app and it's only with the app. Um, and obviously that's kind of the PR marketing part of the app. Right. Um, because, you know, when you look at where you budget and where you spend your money for marketing things, this is how I justified it uh, because it is a free app. None of us are going to make any money on downloads right. for it, but I was able to justify it because I was able to brand it and show a direct correlation to driving people to my website. And that's brilliant. So anybody who's watching this, like that is the brilliance of KB. Like that it is, it's, it's brilliant. It's bloody brilliant because you're like, okay, I have to spend the money. I'm willing to spend the money. And I, mm -hmm. okay, let me backtrack. As a working professional voice actor, you will do yourself a huge favor to have a marketing budget, right? Yes. Be it for things that you give out at a conference, be it branding yep. items that you give out to studios, uh, things that I, I visited studios with, and I walk in and what do I find? Kelly Buttrick all over, literally. <laughs> Uh, seriously, <laughs> everywhere when I traveled from Chicago to Los Angeles, I stopped by and I'm like, oh, of course Kelly's here. Of course she's here and, and here and there. <laughs> so she has a really nice marketing budget that works well for her. And this was another way for you to use your marketing budget to good use, solving a problem, branding, bringing pe driving people back to your website, which is the key. And mm -hmm. you, you did it so brilliantly. So of course I had to have you here and showcase that because I just, I find everything that you do to be so incredibly thoughtful and brilliant and well executed. You deserve every bit of success <laughs> that comes to you winning all those tele awards. I mean like everything that you do. And, and I said this before, and I'm going to mention again, because I really believe it, it bears repeating. It's that you're not setting out to go out to win the tele award. You're not no. setting out to say, I want to have the best app. I want to have the most highest website traffic, although that's everybody's goal. But do you know what I'm saying? Like that isn't like, you're not sitting plotting, like this is going to be the next best thing. You're sitting there saying, how can I be of service? How can I, what I bring to the table as Kelly Buttrick be of service? And that's why it works. And I really love that because I don't sit there and say, I want to be Kelly Buttrick when I grow up. I actually think that saying that diminishes your quality as whoever saying that, like, I don't sit there and say that I don't want to be Kelly Buttrick because there's already a Kelly Buttrick in the world. I need to be the best version of Sophia Cruz because that's what I bring to the table. And, and I you love kick butt. <laughs> Thank you. So you know what I'm saying? So it's not about becoming the next Kelly Buttrick. It's becoming the best version of yourself and bringing the brilliance that you bring to the table, all the uniqueness that makes you, you and offering those win-win solutions for your clients, for your marketing, for your brand, and of course for your business. So thank you so much for showcasing this with us. Um, is there anything else? Uh, one of the things that I did noticed today when I had to quote another project this morning was I realized I can't, I thought I was going to be able to upload a PDF. So is that a feature oh. that we might be able to see in the future? That would be a question for the M squared guys. Okay. So um, I'm going to have you guys stop sharing the screen unless there's something else that we want to see on the app that we haven't seen. All right. I can do that. Maybe. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I, I believe in you. <laughs> All right. So, so go ahead. 
So this feature of uploading an actual file, be it a Word document or a PDF file, um, so that it can do the word count for us, is that something that might be possible for the future on a 2.0 release? Definitely possible, yeah. Um, it would uh, take some work, but that's a possible feature. If Kelly, Kelly likes that idea and we want to move forward. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just my little suggestion from this morning's interaction with the app. I worked with it yesterday when I downloaded it. And then this morning I had to quote another project and I, I always have to do this cut and paste stuff. And then I realized it was a PDF, which you can't copy because I don't have Adobe on my phone. Um, and so, you know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, I can't upload it. So that was the one thing that I noticed this morning. But, but that is so good to know. And I definitely think these guys, if anybody can make it happen, they can. And I also, I, I didn't want to interrupt you because, uh, you know, the head blowing ego is, is loving it. But I also want you to know, as you know, as my personal friend, and as we have chatted about jogging and over breakfast and such, I have fallen on my face many times and I have had marketing efforts just fall flat, but I'm a firm believer in you never know until you try. Exactly. And I would never encourage somebody to leap before you look, you know, make sure that your budget can handle it. Make sure that your ego can handle it if you fail. Um, so when you're looking at marketing, I, I really believe that everybody has to market. So what works for me may not work for somebody else. Exactly. Um, that's why I'm not a marketing coach because I would hate to have somebody pay me to do something that I can't help them with. Um, you've got to go with what feels good to you or it comes off as inauthentic. Right. And I am a marketing coach, but my students will tell you, and I actually did a podcast with uh, Mike Lenz voice po podcast. And I talk about that. Love him. Yeah. That it's not, I don't coach from an ego perspective. I don't, and you're right. It's not about me. My, my student, it's not about my voiceover clients. They're not, it's not about me. It's not about them giving me recognition. It's about, I help people find their strengths and market to that. And because I'm so well-rounded in marketing and business, online marketing, social media, I give them all the different tools. And I say, let's find one that works for you. Because if you tell me right. that you hate cold calling, I would never in a million years give you that as a task or as a And I hate method. cold calling. Exactly. Or as a method for you to do. Um, and so, in fact, I had a, uh, one of my students, uh, clients um, tell me last week, you know, I decided I'm never going to call another company. I said, okay. He's like, I prefer LinkedIn because it worked really well. And I said, mm -hmm. that's brilliant. So we adapted the model of what I gave him to fit in using LinkedIn to help him contact the people. And then I gave him different tools yeah. to, to do that better. So, um, so it's always about finding a win-win for you. And that's actually why yeah. I said what I said earlier. It's not about I wanted people not to think that we're here wanting to be you because it's not about becoming you. It's about honoring and appreciating your gifts that you've given to us. And this is one of them, but it is about finding your uniqueness. And I totally agree with you that it isn't about um, thinking that what works for KB is going to work for me. Cause I would never think that. And that's why I said that, like, I think it's about finding each of our own uniqueness and within whatever budget we have, because LinkedIn right. doesn't cost you a lot of money, but it works. And Tracy Lindley has helped us all with that, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Tracy, yeah. Rob, if you have not and taken the LinkedIn course, take that you course. should. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's, and that's what she brought to the table. So it's about mm -hmm. bringing and helping each other with all the giftedness that we possess. And I really believe in that. And we're, that's what makes the voiceover community so amazing. And that's why I love being part of it. Uh, I'm going to make sure we don't have any questions. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, and then we will, uh, people are saying that they love it. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> I'm make sure we don't have any questions. Oh, I, uh, I, 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 I did something. <laughs> I, that's ah, okay. ah, I did it wrong. I'm sorry. You told me that's not to okay. do that. And I did that's it. magic. <laughs> it's all good. Well, um, thank you everyone for watching. You know how it is available. This is Time Your Script available on iOS and Android. Thank you so much for Kelly for Ooh, being Can I say today. one more thing? Oh, of course. Of course. Um, it would be really helpful. And, and I hope you don't mind me asking, no. um, but you know, this is our voiceover family. So right now, I'm just promoting it within our small, wonderful, supportive voiceover community. And, and it's great because I really want you guys to, to really test it out and, and let us know what you think, like having a PDF option. If you use it and would like to rate it, that helps us, doesn't it, you guys? It does. that, that works. It, it helps us um, not only to make improvements, but it also helps us kind of come up, I guess, when people are searching for these kinds of things, I, I, maybe they, they should talk about it. But if people would take the time to give it a rating, that would be a huge help. And, and we would sincerely appreciate it. But the guys can tell you what that means.
right, guys? As far as the ratings go, since you're you're the only app time your script on the app store, whenever someone is looking up time your script, it's gonna be the first one, regardless okay. of what you're searching. Um, but when it comes to ratings, ratings just helps people actually click that download button uh, because mm -hmm. it's it's more trustworthy, exactly. so to say, because of the rating. Um, but yeah, it would it would help out a lot. Um, and just like spread it word of mouth, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that and would... that's what, when I saw it, I, I asked Kelly, let's, let's do this. So yeah. I'm so glad to help promote the app. And of course, we'll write the rating. And I do want to talk about like, we have a webinar with uh, voiceover business tools next week. I almost forgot next Tuesday, July 24th, on knowing your worth, which is really important oh, because great. if you don't know your worth, you don't know how to charge. If you don't know how many words are in a script, you can find, you know, and know exactly how to charge. So all of this is, you know, everything that I do within voiceover business tool is to help you be more successful run your voiceover as a business. I really believe strongly in that. And so giving you all the tools to do that. So hopefully you'll join us at the webinar next week. If you have, oh, that'll be great. App, uh, know your worth, rate the app. Thank you so much for being here, Kelly. I'm so Thank glad. Thank you for having us here. This is great, guys. Thank person. you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That I and Square Developers. You. Yes. And they do websites, app, everything. Yeah, James and um, Zach, why don't you tell us where people can find you if the people are looking to develop an app? Yeah, you could uh, find us on our website, which is msquareddevelopers.com. And then we have a Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram now. Yeah, um, all three. Um, so you can contact us on any of those four. Um, there's a, What's your user handle then? At? Um, at it's, uh, you can just search msquared developers LLC or um, msquared devs, and we will come up. So msquared yeah. devs for okay. developers. Or, or so email us at contact at msquareddevelopers.com. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, Kelly, I so appreciate you having James and Zach here because we, I mean, obviously we love helping small businesses ourselves and mm -hmm. we're, I'm thrilled from an entrepreneur's perspective to see you guys launch a business as a result of this. Like that is bravo <laughs> to you two and wishing you much, much success. And I will be glad to say, you know, I had James and Zach when they created their first app. So just say <laughs> 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 and Kelly, I was saying, I'm so glad I can help you do your first Facebook Live. Like, how cool I know. is that? Well, and I mean, anybody watching knows I love and respect you so much just on a personal and a professional level. And so, so I am honored to be here. I'm excited to be here. And if anybody has any questions about the app, just, you know, shoot me a PM or a message or whatever. And, uh, we'll be able to answer it for you, hopefully, or well, I'll send you to these guys. And have yeah, it's super straightforward. Yeah, it's supposed to be simple. If, yeah. I, can, if I can figure out how to operate it, <laughs> you can figure out how to operate it. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for watching. This is available as a replay so people can watch it at any time. And I did record it. Oh, cool. Edit it as well. So, all right. Bye everyone. So cool. um, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Don't forget to rate the app and check us out at the next webinar on Know Your Worth Thanks. next Tuesday. Bye everyone. Bye. Okay, let me stop the recording.